Well, joining me now live on the line is Tony Benn, the former Labour Cabinet Minister, live on the line from London. Uh, Tony Benn, I know you love the principles of the United States and the Constitution and, and the American people, uh, but looking at uh, those pictures from St. Paul, uh, did you find it surprising that so many people, and the polls reflect this, believe in, uh, in what the Republicans are offering? Well, I think the American... America, like every other country, is divided, Barack Obama, although I have reservations, but he gave people hope that another policy was possible. He was opposed to the war, the Iraq war, and so on. And the other side of America is very frightened. And, uh, I think, uh, listening to Sarah Palin uh, in, in the convention, was obvious she did represent a very right-wing group of people. She uh, made a speech uh, time in June, and she said that uh, uh, what we are doing is a task from God. Sarah Palin spoke of the uh, war in Iraq as, as directly from God, and once you introduce religion into political conflict, you're in a very dangerous situation. McCain is a very, very right-wing state, and uh, I hope now, after Bush has proved to be so unpopular, that the American people reject McCain and Sarah Palin and go for something that sounds more progressive. You see, um, I mean, reading the uh, American media, you might say that environmentalism is a strong issue, but uh, she's getting huge cheers, obviously, at the convention, but outside the convention, seemingly, for drilling and destroying the Arctic uh, refuge. Um, and, uh, of course, the convention itself is being held under tight security where demonstrators are being uh, uh, arrested on massive mass scales. Uh, uh, do you think they, they may be unstoppable? Well, I don't think it's necessarily true that McCain will win. Quite the opposite, because many American soldiers have been killed. The war stick America $400 million a day and I think a lot of Americans absolutely reject it. But of course the American media is right-wing, it's owned by right-wing proprietors. Uh, the uh, president is right-wing and he's using the beast to restrict any opposition. But when it goes to the American people as a whole, and after all they will decide, I don't think it's at all certain that McCain will appeal. Um, the situation is, however, very, very dangerous and frightened nations tend to go to the right. I mean, that's why Bush carried on for so long, because the United States was frightened after 9-11, and they said, we've got to have a strong man to fight for us. And that is the danger. On the other hand, the policies have been such a disaster that I think there's a very good chance of a democratic victory, and I hope that occurs. And uh, what about uh, the European dimension? I mean, obviously, your country is uh, dead set behind uh, George W. Bush in the Georgia conflict. We know Dick Cheney has arrived in Georgia. Do you see in some European countries a sense that uh, uh, they think policy is about to change, foreign policy uh, of the United States? Well, I think what's very interesting, you see, uh, Gordon Brown has talked about a new Cold War with Russia, um, and obviously he's taken his instructions from Bush. But I don't think public opinion in Britain takes that view. And I was very pleased that at the summit uh, meeting of the European Union leaders, France and Germany took a much more sensible view. It's a complicated argument in Georgia because um, it's about oil. There's a very important pipeline. Israel has been arming the Georgians, and it's even rumored that Israel would like to use Georgia as a base for an attack on Iran. So there are very complicated issues here. I'm naturally disappointed with what the British Prime Minister says, but I don't think that present, represents public opinion in Britain either. So um, this idea that now we move from the Iraq and, and Afghan wars to a new Cold War and possibly as Cheney would like and McCain would like, I think, attack upon Iran is so dangerous uh, for the security of the human race that I, I think American, ordinary American voters, like British voters, will reject it. And uh, finally, I mean, John McCain obviously famously said, uh, bomb, bomb Iran, singing to the Beach Boys song. What, would you, what do you think uh, would happen in a John McCain presidency? Well, I can't forecast, but I think he would be a very right-wing uh, president. I think he would step up the centralization of power. He would encourage military solutions to problems that require discussion and would therefore be a very dangerous man to have in the White House. But... Uh, 
you see, I, one thing occurs to me, maybe the Georgia crisis has made it less likely that Bush could uh, stomach a, a war with Iran. Israel has been defeated in, the, in Georgia in the sense that they armed the Georgian government. Israel was defeated last year or the year before in the Lebanon. And so I think the tide is turning and it's very important never to give up hope because once people think, oh, well, there's nothing we can do, the worst happens. So we have to maintain our campaigns and our optimism. And in Britain, uh, I'm doing meetings. I'm doing 26 meetings this month alone and I've done three or four this week. All the questions are about uh, the war, about Iran, about Georgia, about American policy, and I think British public opinion has shifted very substantially as a result of all the campaigning that has been done. Tony Benn, former Labour Cabinet Minister.